So, in this video, we got the four main species of the game. We got the humans, the dwarves, the elves, and the orcs all ready to battle it out. Put in the comments down below who you think is going to win. It could be any of them. I put them all in different biomes, so we'll see if that plays any role in uh, choosing the winner, pretty much. And then in the middle, dividing them all, there's a special biome where if they pretty much have people born on it, I think, they get a little enchantment. They get a little blessing kind of thing. Or they're stronger. So we'll see if any of them take advantage of that. <laughs> the dwarves have colored sheep over here running around. <laughs> I think that's biome specific. I thought that was only from the enchanted biome. I guess it's possible they spawned here then walked all the way over. They're all expanding quite rapidly at this point with the elves in first place with 20 population. Hello there little people. How are you today? Hopefully you're ready for war. By the end of this video all these people here will be dead either by age or some other horrible way. <laughs> Elves the first one to put down another colony. Oh, moan. <laughs> Dwarves did it next with Osatil. The humans are now in first place with 51 population. Okay, I believe the elves are actually still in first place. Because with their other city, they have much more than 50. Where the dwarves don't even have 50 with both of their cities combined. The orcs have set up a second city, Zagotop. And it's really close to Osatil. That might make the relationship a bit rough, eh? Okay, a fire broke out in the human section. Right next to their new colony, uh, uh, Alidensin? I don't know. The elves are really the first to take a lot of land here on the enchanted zone the dwarves are close second but you know oh here we go the humans are third they did it before the orcs did <laughs> i just gave every city an iron rock and a normal stone so hopefully that makes them advance a little bit more whoa 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 what do you mean one was already destroyed what Alidson was destroyed since when and how the fire definitely burned up a lot oh there's wolves did just a wolf pack eat them <laughs> oh rhinos as well looks like animals just came up and destroyed them rip dude that sucks elves asserting dominance putting up a rona right in the middle of the map that's crazy whoa what happened here dude i think a meteorite landed jeez the humans first have a city above 100 population and they're also trying to set up another one a, a dark bee now a tornado just broke out the humans oh well, that sucks <laughs> the orcs are kind of being boxed in right now they have a huge border along with the dwarves as well as the elves the humans are kind of just chilling alone but I, I guarantee you they're not gonna let that happen for long demons have showed up uh-oh that's not good they're gonna oh dude they're so gonna murder everything here oh wait they were fighting right knows for a second okay they're going through rona as well as a lot of the human land oh my glove they're burning everything down dude everything's just getting destroyed the orcs now having the most populous city with 145 population that's pretty crazy actually i did not see that one coming okay get this guys so the orcs are completely locked in they cannot expand their territory any farther because the dwarves and the elves have locked them in and they go to war against the humans dude what the orcs are up here killing humans in Octabi or whatever, their little colony. They're, they're just absolutely wrecking them. It's gone. The humans have their one city and that's it. Do they even have a military anymore? Probably not. The, I'm sure the orcs just whooped them. Oh, never mind. Here's a human military. They're over here on the orcish border. There's a crab. <laughs> they're fighting the orcs inside of the elvish city. That's funny, dude. The orcs are moving into the human city. Oh, never mind. They, they're, never mind. They're retreating now. <laughs> they didn't even do anything. Yeah, just run home, fools. Their cities are becoming more advanced now with windmills and some stone buildings i can't tell which one has more land it's either the elves or the dwarves mm, i think the elves and the humans definitely have the least amount <laughs> in just one city or the rest at least have two the orcs are inside the human city just destroying it dude they're murdering everybody oh my club the humans stand no chance dude the orcs always kill them no matter what humans are down to 40 population with two orcish armies in here uh, even a fire just broke out ha okay well their city's gone but there's still humans running around it's just children run fools no <laughs> <laughs> no, run, dude. No. Okay, well, humans are gone. They lost. If you guessed humans, then uh, you failed. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Demons just spawned in the orcish land? They're actually doing a lot of damage, too. Burning down a lot of their land and a tornado. Okay, World Box did not like them killing uh, the humans. They're being punished right now. Sacrifice. Give me sacrifice. And the elves are being smart. They're trying to snag up some land. <gasps> humans live. Humans live, dude. Oh, what is this guy? He's 13. He doesn't have too much food left. Oh, bro. There we go. I start him. <laughs> no way the humans live, dude. That's crazy. Oh, my glove. Wait, there's orcs coming back up. No way. They're, why would... No. No. Run, dude. Run. Bro, get out of there. No. No. The human's last hope, dude. He's dead. What did he do to deserve that? The elves and dwarves are boring right now, dude. They haven't done stilly squat. Kill each other. Come on. The elves now have the most populous city at 241, which is is pretty spectacular not gonna lie okay the dwarves just declared war on the orcs oh snap okay so there's fighting on the border we'll see if the elves join in here in a second it looks like orcs do have the advantage for the moment it looks like they're kind of pushing more in okay here comes the big dwarvish army now they're definitely gonna push deeper into the
into the orcs. Here we go, dude. Here's an orcish army to the right. The dwarvish army is going down the left side. Zalgotop's population is dropping rapidly. The orcs have infiltrated the dwarvish territory. Okay, there's a huge fire that broke out. The dwarves are just murking at the moment. This is epic. Dude, Zalgotop might die. It only has 25 population left. And just dwarves are going through killing everybody. They have no mercy, dude. They kill every single man, woman, and child. Okay, here comes the orcish army. Looks like they just kicked out the dwarves. Zalgotop lives for now. But in war, there's really no winners because Osatil also only has 26 population left, as well as a lot of uh, broken infrastructure. <laughs> Look at the dwarvish capital. It goes across the entire northern border. It's a long boy, dude. It kind of is like the shape of a gun. Like, this is where the trigger would be. And then, you know, yeah, I'm sure I'm not the only one who sees that. That's kind of cool. Same with the elvish city. <laughs> Osatil's been reduced down to a very small amount of land and only 13, 14 population. Their capital building was just broken as they struggled to defend against the orcs, dude. Zogotop's kind of rebuilding now with 41 population and they have much more land still. Okay, a tornado just spawned at the elves. <laughs> the elves now breaking 300 population in their capital. Odatil on its last line of people with only two left, last line of defense, whatever you want to call it, and it's gone, dude. The dwarves have been reduced down to their only, only their capital, which I mean is huge, but you know, still a big blow to them, that's for sure. Because Ototail was big as well. This guy's got a demon sword. What? He's got 45 kills, dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's epic, not gonna lie. As they just go through and kill more dwarves. The orcs have been the aggressor this entire game, and they're pretty much killing anybody they have gone to war with. But I think the elves are so big at this point that I would be surprised if the orcs could kill them. The dwarves do have a pretty decent sized army though, and they look very well equipped with armor and shields and stuff. They don't seem to be on the offense though, I think they're just defending. Which is probably wise on their part, because they're they've lost a lot of land at this point. Weird, look at this. The dwarvish army's moving through the elvish territory. To what? Way up here in the middle of nowhere this is the farthest away you can get from the orcs what dude and the orcs over here just killing dwarves what why why what are you doing fools go defend your country nobody's attacking over here meanwhile their wives and children just getting beaten mercilessly the orcs are doing so well in this war that they've expanded all the way up through the dwarfish biome now bordering their freaking capital oh well not anymore now they've they're just killing them some more <laughs> As they continue to expand more into the dwarvish land. The dwarves are now below 100 population. Okay, the dwarves are pretty much being kicked out entirely of their first uh, square here. Oh, their city's gone. Oh, snap. There's still dwarves alive, but they're they're homeless now. Because the army didn't defend them. They're all just over here. Dummies, dude. That's so dumb. <laughs> They'll probably just run around aimlessly now until they starve to death or die of age. Or just burn to death. You know, that, that too, I guess. And there we go. We got the elves against the orcs. With both of them kind of owning half of the map. But if I had to bet it would be on the elves but who knows the orcs have proven themselves worthy warriors at this point that's for sure whoa dude huge meteorite just landed <laughs> the elves are just letting the orcs rebuild if they were smart they would have attacked during the invasion of the dwarves whoa okay so a tornado and a massive earthquake just knocked out a lot of territory that was owned by the elves and i'm sure the orcs are gonna try and snag it up <laughs> they might own equal amounts of land now or maybe even the orcs own more in terms of land the orcs do own about what 12 more or something like that it's really even. However, the elves do have much more population as well as a huge difference in military power. No way, dude. An earthquake just happened up here and literally wiped out the city. The city's gone. All these people and children are just running around aimlessly now. <laughs> Okay, I think they, they finally declared war. Oh my glub, it's mayhem. The elves are actually running through just killing everything. They're destroying right now. Zago top down to 60 population and dropping fast, dude. As they run through and just murder. Oh, okay. never mind, the orcs just cleared them out. It looks like the elves have been set back a lot in territory. And all of their northern infrastructure is just gone at this point. After that first collision, uh, they both took a huge number of casualties. But the elves still do have about twice as many soldiers as they do. Almost. The elves have brought another army in. They're murdering children just like everybody does in this game <laughs> kill each other yes dude death to all looks like most of the conflicts occurring in omon right now which its population is dropping kind of there doesn't seem to be a big push by either side at the moment either that or they both are trying to push but then you know they're kind of equal so they just kind of cancel each other out i don't know i don't know what's happening a huge earthquake just happened taking out a lot of the orcish capital that's really not good for the orcs infrastructure takes time to build up in this game and the elves have been very fortunate in that regard Look at their huge city. That's how they're able to house over 500 people. But the orcs, though, at this point, do have more population than the elves. By about over 100, dude. Wow. As well as military. Oh, my glove. No way the orcs win this, dude. An evil mage has appeared? That's not good. Ha! <laughs> 
he's burning everything down dude he's whooping the elves right now oh he teleported over yeah he's just he's destroyed elves at the moment <laughs> dude he's killing so many of them oh my glove dude chill oh and then he got killed by an orc which this orc guy has a has a staff now wait let me see you he's got this evil staff of doom <laughs> hey moan losing a lot of territory and below 40 population now down to 10 population and being assaulted at the moment by orcs down to five they just lost all their buildings one population and it's pretty much gone and uh, yeah there it goes it's gone <laughs> which means that the elves now only have their capital which will not be any small feat for the orcs to defeat with a 571 population and it still owns like a quarter of the map just by its own so let the siege begin eh and it's begun <laughs> wow there's a lot of fire going on dude okay their population has dropped below 300 all of a sudden where and how the orcs are attacking in the south through the middle uh the elves got their army up here defending the king is up here in the north just what why wow they just had a huge amount of casualties dude even a city as powerful as themselves that's gonna be hard to recover from maybe i spoke too soon they're back up to 460 population albeit mostly children somebody who's using the mage staff it's this dude look at him go dude he's only has 15 health left he'll probably die i think he's on fire <laughs> he has 51 kills though jeez bro yeah there he goes <laughs> rip he caused so much carnage whoa meteorite out of nowhere I'm sure that killed some people, but they're lucky that it wasn't in the middle of like a city. Which, by the way, the orcs have a huge city up here in the north with 328 population. That's, this is insane. Whoa, dude. Okay, so two meteorites just landed in the perfect spot, knocking out a huge portion of the orcish land. Okay, what the balls is happening, dude? What? <laughs> they all, they all just lost so much land. Why is this happening every five seconds? What the balls, dude? <laughs> I'm not doing that. I turned on sonic speed, but, and just immediately everybody's getting out absolutely murked this is definitely close to the end of the elves they're finally below 100 population it's taken over 600 years they're down to 60 population the orcs are moving in more of their military down to 30 population and they're just infested with the orcs there it goes dude congratulations to the orcs they won it all who would have guessed it <laughs> thanks for watching and uh goodbye